Hey, and welcome back to what's new. Barry Schwartz with me right now is Say Hey to Morty. Say hey. Say hey. It's Willie, Willie Mays, the Say Hey Kid, whatever. My tribute. I don't get things. I don't get culture stuff or entertainment. Sorry. I, and then yeah. Greg is all new from the car. Nice to see yeah. you, Greg. Thanks for pulling Great over on the street. Reminds oh, me of my old days blogging and just you know pulling over last minute and just whatever. And um, Crystal may be joining us soon. We'll see. If not, then I'll cover what she's covering. Got a new hat. Well, it's not actually. It's very old. It's a super old hat. Somebody sent me this hat like a long time ago. Amy, I forgot about it. Amy they, Tolman sent you that hat. Yeah. And I'm like, Greg, it's not new. Sorry. Those hats are not new. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway the uh, backwards hat thing I, it's a good look for you everything is a good look for me but let's <laughs> just joking any event um i'll keep a little tab here to see if crystal joins but i'll start with the google maps exploit greg what are you talking about i'm going to be talking about something that advertisers wish they could exclude some lack of exclusion lists in youtube ads <laughs> even from the road you do it and morty Bring out your top hat and monocles because today we're talking about a monopoly within a monopoly. Nice. And Crystal will be talking about maybe structured data and JavaScript and should you do it. Google Maps um, has an exploit. It has an exploit for the past year or so, maybe even longer. And I covered it several months ago. Um, I thought it was like a bug with how Google Maps handled stuff. Um, and we basically went ahead and um, noticed that um, basically you could take take any business listing in Google Maps, edit that business listing, and then modify it and just drag the pin anywhere you want. So if you have a bunch of competitors in your area and you want to say, I don't want them to rank in my area, you could just take them all and just drag them away and like put them anywhere you want, anywhere in the world. Um, and it's pretty funny because I initially thought it was a bug when I covered it. I'm like, something's happening. Map pins are moving all over the place. And then Joy Hawkins um, been like saying, this is not a bug. This is like manipulation. People are doing this just to get the competitors out of the way. And then, um, so I covered it again. And then I covered it again today when Darren Shaw posted a video this week, basically showing how easy it is. And he has a new service where you can actually pay a dollar, I think per month to go ahead and be tracked. Because the issue is somebody can move your pin and Google won't tell you your pin has been moved. You could be moved somewhere else and where did my rankings go? And then Google wouldn't even tell you. So Darren Shaw was like, I'll tell you, just pay me a dollar, which is a cheap service. Great. And then he's like, if you try to move your pin back or question that, sometimes Google Maps will actually suspend your listing for doing that and you'll be gone completely. How wild is that? I'm so glad I don't do a lot of local SEO because it's like the wild, wild west of the internet. It is. No, it's just like you're Thanos from Batman and you're just making people disappear. <laughs> yes, Thanos from Batman. Really good. Yeah. I am your father. <laughs> And though that you were able to do that with just like people you didn't like, you were just like, I'm going to move you here. <laughs> it's hilarious. Wow. Let's talk a little bit about JavaScript and structured data. Um, Crystal, I did the intro for you, so you don't have to do that. So go ahead with that news. Thank you very much. Sorry for sorry for jumping in, jumping in late. But you know, like I, I got a stuck in a crawl queue. <laughs> little JavaScript joke. No. Okay. Nice All right. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, Google recently um, shared. They updated a piece of documentation um, on Google Merchant Center that talks about JavaScript and structured data. So they talk about structured data markup. Anybody who doesn't know about structured data markup, there's a great article written by yours truly that talks about it. But also there's lots of great stuff, stuff from, from Google. The documentation for structured data generally and the documentation for structured data on Google Merchant Center are ever so slightly different. Um, and in this, this is a prime example of that. So on theirs, they say, they say any any added markups must be presented in HTML returned from the web server and can't be generated after a page has been loaded using JavaScript. And then there were people who were saying, wait a second, one bit says this and another bit says that it doesn't. And then someone from Google was saying, we are working to find the right, the right wording to explain this discrepancy currently. Um, uh, so resist running off and re-implementing your websites. And essentially, he, he sort of said, like, if it's kind of still working, then then you're probably fine. But basically, this gets a little bit a little bit complicated with 
with your structured data. And again, I've written another article about, about structured data validation. You've got to write, you, you just need to validate it. You just need to keep make sure, making sure it's validated. Obviously, HTML is the best way. I've definitely implemented um, structured data using using JavaScript. And if it is valid, and then then maybe, but obviously HTML is still, is still the best, is what I would say. That's the best if you can't do it with the HTML for whatever reason. And sometimes it's if you've got something and you're not able to access the HTML, then sometimes JavaScript can be a better way. Um, but obviously, like HTML first. Um, I don't think it's as hard a line as maybe as as that particular piece of documentation is is saying. Um, but H- HTML first is what is what I get from that that conversation. Yeah, for sure. Um, and that's been Google's saying forever. Like you could use JavaScript. People have used JavaScript. If you need to do fancy stuff after the fact, you could try it. Make sure it validates in the URL inspection tool. Yada yada. Rich snippets uh, testing tool. All those types of tools. Just make sure it works. And if it does go ahead and use it. Um, and I guess they'll kind of kind of figure out how to like update that documentation to clarify that. But good coverage there. Um, Morty, on the people also ask. Yeah, so you know who's got a monopoly within Google's monopoly? Wikipedia. Turns out, yeah, surprise, surprise, really. Um, but John Jahada, the great John Jahada, um, covered from the, the News Dash data set that he has that something like 16% of all people also ask URLs come from Wikipedia, which is the largest uh, website market share. The next one up is like nasa.gov with 2%. Um, 54 are other URLs. The real surprise to me was mlb.com with 0.6%. Like the only people who watch baseball are basically me and Glenn Gabe, but Major League Baseball has got 0.6% of the PAA market share, which just goes to show you that the, the baseball watcher is also a Google searcher. Yeah. I'm surprised Reddit wasn't in there, but I don't know. Well, I guess they have their own dedicated search feature now. So I'm surprised um, really there's more on YouTube. Like, come on, Google, do a better job at promoting mm-hmm. yourself. No, to be honest, I'm, I'm surprised about NASA. Like NASA, like, like, are there, are people that interested in like space stuff? Is it, is that really? Yeah. People love space. And what's NASA doing anyway? Like they have time to write content. Not like they're like doing anything, going to the moon or anything, right? <laughs> Good points. Good points. On that, Greg, you got to finish us up here. All right. Yeah. From Chasm from uh, Solutions 8, he had shared an email about some exclusions going away or changing within YouTube. And one of the things that I thought was strange is um, with some of the exclusions going away it's across a variety of different um sort of like parental groups so there's like d uh, g pg ma all those um exclusions that you could currently do will be going away in september and then maybe the biggest thing that could trick advertisers up is um, they're going to change some of the settings to account level settings where you could go and you could exclude some of these things at a campaign level um, so live stream videos, if you don't want your ads there, you have to go to the account now, um, uh, embedded videos. And then the biggest one is going to be content made for families. That is kids videos. So that's the stuff that you always want to exclude and you won't be able to do that at the campaign level, though. Thankfully you'll still have that option to go at the account level. Um, and then they also mentioned that some of the, uh, those exclusions will still be there for display just not for YouTube. So if you were trying to exclude a lot of different stuff and try to get kids out of there, um, some of the, the G-rated stuff, you're not going to be able to exclude and everything else, do it at the account level. Yeah, that was a super interesting uh, post. It seems more on, not so much on the search side, but more on like the display and YouTube and side, right? So Yeah, yeah. And that's the number one thing people do wrong with YouTube is they advertise the content that is suitable for families. The, the exclusion content suitable for family is kids' videos. You have to exclude that. And now you're not going to be able to do it at the campaign level. My kids get like Calvin Klein perfume ads showing up before they're like Sesame Street videos all the time. And they're not buying any Calvin Klein anything. I don't have the money Maybe for they that. Maybe they should. <laughs> Maybe they should. On that note, well, I'll go with... oh, sorry, go ahead. Just watch your kid comes home decked out in uh, Calvin Klein. <laughs> Smelling smell. amazing. <laughs> I wish if only they would smell amazing. Awesome. Well, thank you all. Smell you all later. Thanks again. Bye bye. <laughs>